Digital technology, artificial intelligence, and robotics are all disrupting the jobs, businesses, and economies of today and the future. But it's not just technical skills that would be critical for tomorrow's workplaces and workers. Ironically, what the high-tech offices of tomorrow may most need are still the most human of skills. Bim Santos has the story. More and more companies in the region are rethinking the workplace of the future due to the ongoing disruption brought by technology. But beyond having the needed technical skills of the future such as programming, social and soft skills are also included in the future ready skill set. At the JP Morgan Asia Society Forum on the Future of Work, Ayala Corp Chair Jaime Augusto Zobel de Ayala says companies also need to find ways in retaining talent. Organizations will have to embrace new skills as well, methods of training and ways of working. However, adapting to this future also entails much more than just utilizing new technologies and upskilling, I guess, the skills of our people. I strongly believe that our companies will have to integrate within themselves also a deeper sense of purpose to attract and retain talent, and more importantly, harness these energies needed to provide meaningful impact. Doris So, who is the Asia Society Philippines Chair, says the competition in terms of retaining talent should also be thought of as an overall country strategy, as many other countries now offer attractive benefits for skilled migrants. The Philippines is competing not just with local needs, local industry needs, we're competing with this amazing shortage of talent abroad. It's really a holistic approach on investments in, in work-related businesses. Now what that is, we need to think where we can be truly competitive as a country. Amid the ongoing digital shift, the Technical Education and Skills Authority says they are also fine-tuning their courses to be more in line with the current demand. To get a better handle on where the demands of the industry will be headed, TESTA says they also commissioned a survey asking various industries what skills and jobs they will need. You really need to seek what is the demand of the industry for us to be able to really come up with specific programs on that particular sector so that my employ yung mga tao later. But Ordaneta likewise says that amid the threat and challenge of automation, the essential skill set that will set apart the workplace of the future will be those not replicable by machines. Kahit na madami ng robots na nandyan, ang parati pa rin competitive edge ng tao is the essential skills, the soft skills. Bim Santos, we are One News. A day after being feted with royal pomp, U.S. President Donald Trump is expected to plunge headlong Tuesday into the less stately world of British politics. Trump is scheduled to meet with Prime Minister Theresa May, who is set to resign in a few days over Brexit. A dinner later may include Boris Johnson, a staunch Brexit advocate. The state visit was intended to celebrate Britain's close ties with the United States, boost trade, and strengthen security relations. Some British citizens, however, see Trump as a volatile and crude leader. A large rally is planned outside the British Parliament, featuring an inflatable blip depicting Trump as a baby in a diaper. DSL Productions and Signal Entertainment has produced their debut rom-com film. 
Filenial features the tandem of comedy stars Ai Ai de las Alas and Bayani Agbayani for the first time. A Filenial is someone who is already over 40 but does not feel like his or her age and or the film explains. The film, which isn't your typical millennial story, revolves around the initial cat and dog relationship of Agbayani and de las Alas. Common circumstances and people in their lives bring them closer together. The film depicts the dawn of dating apps, selfies, filters, and millennial slangs. Directed by Rechi Del Carbon, Finanial hits cinemas on June 19. The iconic musical Rack of Ages is set to return for its seventh run. The show by the Philippine Educational Theatre Association will run from July to September at the Peta Theatre Center. National artist Ryan Kebiab says the show will again showcase the profound impact of original Pinoy music. This season will feature original cast members like Isel Santos as well as new stars such as singer Randy Santiago and Noel Cabangon. It will be co-presented by the Organisasyon ng Mga Pilipino Mga Awit and the Philpop Music Fest Foundation as well as PLDT Home Fiber.